Hi, and welcome back to Wellness Watch. Um, this is Ju I'm Judy McEwen, and this is Patty Friedman, who I love having with me because she's got so many new adventures in mm -hmm. the world of wellness, both private and, and big groups, and any way that she can get mm -hmm. the word out. And we decided that since it is now November 1st, that we needed to talk about what comes up in the next couple of months because <laughs> it can be overwhelming, it can be fun, it can be a little of both, but there are a lot of ways where you can make it a lot more fun than it is by take just facing yourself and realizing what matters most about it. Yeah. Um, and I want to use the word perfection first because perfection okay. is what too many people are going for at That's either true. season, they, they want the food perfect, they want the gifts they give perfect, and if they don't feel they are, then they feel like they failed. Right. And they kill themselves in the process. Yeah. We've lost so much of what this time of year really yeah. is about that we've gotten yeah. caught up in, yeah. in a lot of different uh, modes of the holidays. Yeah. And so we kind of laugh and say, all right, so the Halloween is the start, even though Christmas stuff has been out for oh, a while. Oh, I but know. Which drives Which, me crazy. Yeah, me too. But we're going forward and thinking that how do we get through the next couple of months without that that pressure of having to have perfection. It can be very unhealthy time for a lot of people. And a lot, a lot of, of people end up saying, that wasn't fun. I It just flew by and I didn't, I didn't enjoy, enjoy myself. It, right? I didn't, I didn't eat well. I didn't. And, and that's all part of what we're yeah. going to talk about is keeping your own schedule your own pace, your own food as best you can, and, and just not feeling like you have to be Miss Perfect about every phase of it. Right, and it's really, I mean, it goes back to, we've talked about this some other times, Judy, is about having a plan. And if, if you know that other things haven't worked for you in the past, it's kind of that message to say, all right, what didn't work for right. me and how do I go about? So it's really about looking at your calendar, putting a plan in place, and I absolutely agree that uh, you know, exercise yeah. and eating shouldn't be the first thing to get off that Sacrificed, schedule. Sacrificed, yeah. That should be the thing that stays on the calendar, yeah. and you build and work around Couldn't it. Couldn't agree more. Because That's if the you're constant. Not healthy, nothing. And else. we all know what our normal pace feels like, and mm -hmm. it's pretty good if we've done it right. Yeah. And and, but when we sacrifice all that good stuff, mm -hmm. in the name of being, I, I don't want to say Martha Stewart in a negative way, but. I'm not one, no, but no. I, I think over the years I've thought, I can do this really well, and I haven't, right? because I haven't been myself, yep. and, and we, I've been exhausted. And we don't want to be, I mean, really, it, you don't want to be someone else. You want to stick to your values exactly. and your traditions exactly. and what your things are, and yeah. things may change year to year, and people just need to really think about how that's going to work best for them. Mm -hmm. And there's so many sacrifices that we we go into in this holiday season oh. that it's it's really about you know stepping back reevaluate and pacing uh, you know pacing yourself through the holidays and you know there's so many different ways to get through like you said in in enjoying yeah. the holiday season and that's what it's all it about it should be fun it should be and fun meaningful. you can make it fun and, and that's and the whole meaning of both of the next big holidays should not be forgotten right. i mean there's something there to and I know when my kids were little, we would go over all of that. Now people just kind of, can I help with the turkey and let's eat. Right, right, right. And Christmas gets to be even crazier because you really are thinking you should be just the perfect person at Christmas. You, everyone has to have the perfect gift or 10. Um, and you just, you kind of kill yourself. You wear yourself out trying right. to be who you're not. You're right about that. Yeah. You just aren't yourself if you're, driving yourself to sickness right and really you're the only person that has control right of putting yourself right. in that situation yep. because if you continue to you know accept invitations to parties and we can talk more about that yep. but and then you you know take on more activities or more commitments or get involved with more things you're only setting yourself up you to to be challenged by yep the whole atmosphere of the season. Mm -hmm. So it's really about stepping back and thinking about, okay, is this really gonna work for me? And if I get a gift for someone, have a plan, set up a gift wrapping or, or station or something somewhere in your house yep. so that you, and I know everyone says, I have a goal and I did this myself so I can speak to it is yep. that I'm not gonna be wrapping presents at Christmas midnight Eve. on Christmas Eve. 
And it's really about having that plan in place of a station of where all the convenience, you yeah. know, put the tape, put the scissors, put the paper, put the bags, yeah. whatever it is, however you, you know, do your gifts. And, and have that convenient and easy. Yeah. Make it simple. Simple is a good word yeah. because we tend to think we're, we need to be very fancy and complicated. These aren't holidays that should even have those words in yeah. them. Yeah. Um, you're going to be hopefully with some people you love. You're going to be eating some wonderful food. I think also one of the things that we all don't do enough of is, is accepting help. Yeah, right. Ask when, for when it. When people offer, grab it. Right. I have a, a sister of mine who says instead of saying, waits for someone to say, what can I bring or anything you want, she'll say, now, would you rather bring an hors d'oeuvre <laughs> or a side dish? Yeah. And then she knows one of those is already going to happen. Right. And Mark, farm it out. I mean, we're all in a world mm -hmm. where potluck works. That's and right. People are used to being asked to bring something. Don't try and do it all yourself. And you know, the other piece of it is, in this day and age, is there's some amazing local bakeries and stores that have some great, great foods that they you do. can purchase and not have that stress. So, you know, think about some of the local places where you might get a pie or breads or yeah. whatever, because that takes off some of the burden. It's and, a big relief to check yeah. off stuff that either someone else is going to do for you or, or, or a store is going to. I have no problem with some of these wonderful prepared food yeah, items in the, out, in, out there. Yeah. Um, in fact, they're better than what I put out. So yeah. it, that's my reason. <laughs> and that's part of the help. And, they, and put it on the menu. And yeah. you know, if you're not a person that cooks or claims to be a good baker, then by all means, oh, wonderful. save yourself that stressful aggravation and take advantage of the resources, and right? We've got them. Lord we, knows we've got them. We do. I was at a function recently where the hostess who had, I guess there were about 25 people, everything she had out there was from a local big store. And I bet she enjoyed herself. That wonderful food. <laughs> and she just had all the time with her guests. Right. And I noticed her. She didn't, she wasn't out slaving and running around and... Some people brought things, but she also had bought some amazingly pre wonderful prepared foods. Mm. So that's the kind of help. Don't wait for someone else to offer, but the stores and right. the wonderful bakeries are out yeah. there. It's, it's really, again, it's about, and don't wait until the last minute. If you're oh. going to do that, that goes back, they sort of go back, it keeps falling back to the planning process right. and having a plan in place. You know, you can't decide the week of, Thanksgiving or Christmas or whenever your holiday event is to contact these people, but it's getting that plan and plan ahead. And there should be no excuses. If you have a plan and you stick to it, and it may be adjusted as you go. And it probably will be. And it will be. Absolutely. But your basic be. plan sticks. And I think the another thing I learned over the years is in, the, in life in general, say no. If you're if you're inundated with holiday yeah. festivities and you just you know you're exhausted, just it's okay to say no to something that comes along. It's, it's a, okay. It's a reality check that we're yeah. human, and this is a busy time, yep. and there's going to be a lot of things that happen, and you just have to sort of step back, take a deep breath, yeah. and again, find time for yourself. You can't do it all, you know, whether <laughs> yeah. it's in your house doing things or going out to everything that comes along. Not that I don't have that kind of life, but I used to in a place that was much more social for me. Yeah. And it was like the same group of people five nights in a row. And ultimately, I just said to myself, you know, I think we could skip one. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. You're and not I, that night it. off was kind of special. Enjoyable. So it's being smart. It's keeping on your own schedule. Get Do your exercise. Don't let that be a victim of this yeah. craziness. Um, the food and the exercise, I think, are critical. Absolutely. So don't forget you in the process of all this, that your body and what you've been doing for it so far, why would you want to give it up right. for couple of weeks in crazy time. Because then you end up having to climb out of kind of almost a double hole. Because you were in such a good place if you were doing exercise and then you stopped doing it and now you've got to catch up as well as continue. And it's, yeah. there's no reason not to find time in your day to do some type of exercise. It may be at a different time. It may be a different type. Yes. But it's still about finding time for yourself. I call it me time. Me time is critical. It's it's very important. And just going for a walk in in, the, in your day of preparation. Everyone can go out and go around the block a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, even that is enough of a change and a refresher that you can get back to it thinking, oh, I feel better. Yeah. The air. Clear your head. Yeah. So so the schedule matters. Um, 
I, I hate it when I have to give up my schedule now without right. a busy time. <laughs> I hate it. So, and I, I'm lucky in that um, my kids are not in town, so we, we, I go there for Christmas yeah. out west, so it isn't like I have to. But you still find time I, for yourself. I do even everything. When you're at the I do everything because they're that way. Yeah. So, but I think you just have to put you first, as we've been saying, right from day one. Right. You Today, get on the calendar November first. First. This is New Year's resolution day. Yeah. Before why wait? you need it. Why wait until the end of the year? Do it now, because we know we don't like moving the ground, the good things, and we all succumb to yeah. that. One of the things that you yeah. t t um, mentioned and that we didn't really go into is the food piece oh. of the next few days. So we talked about, you know, whether you cook, whether you get, but it, then there's so many uh, temptations and opportunities throughout the next couple of months. And some of the tips I, that I think work for people, and maybe mm -hmm. you can speak to this too, is, is when you go to a party or an event or in the office, there's potlucks, wherever you are, yeah. is don't just grab a plate and get in line right. and go. Right. Scan it first, see what's there, make the better choices, yep. think about what you're gonna do, and yep. then go back, get yep. your plate with a smaller size, yep. and then work your way through sure. so that you have a, a mental plan of how not to overeat because potlucks and oh. buffets are the places where people will just over and over. And that's some of the food sometimes that you don't eat as much of now. Right. The wonderful, yummy casseroles and Italian things and things. I'm rubbing my hands. I know. I'm hungry. Oh my God. <laughs> um, but we'd like to see one right now. But also, yeah. Well, Emily, our friend over there, is going to make us one. Um, <laughs> no, the, the, and also, I've always learned, and I learned this years ago, just have a, something to eat before I go to a party. Absolutely. I don't want to go tip. starving, just like I don't want a food shop when I'm starving. Yeah. But don't. Get caught up in thinking, well, this is special. I can, I can eat it now because, you know, this is festive and a, no. Well, we have conversations with ourselves and we justify why it's okay. Yeah. It's the holidays. It's a party. We all do I'm it. with my friends. So you kind of, there's a, it's those, you know, two it's voices in your head having this battle conversation and who's going to win and, and you have to really take control. And those are, those are ways to just have a talk with yourself and say, is it really worth and I, the other thing is not going back for a second helping. Oh, is no seconds. No seconds. Because you know you, what you're going to have and be done. And it's okay to try a spoonful of every or something of every. I mean, if you want to try everyone's food and you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, it's okay to have a bite of all of it. Yeah. You just don't have a full portion of all right, of it. Right, right. Um, but also the other thing when you have potlucks, I'm always the one that's bringing the the veg, veggies and dip because yeah. I, know, I want something in there that I know I can go crazy with if I... Yeah. Don't go crazy with the rest of it. Yeah, so you're you're sharing your dish. I'm sharing, but it's something, something I'm that you know with you're because I don't go. want to get stuck without something that. I mean, I'll go with the, the other stuff. Sure, but I want to know something I can over, overdose on, which is what I'll bring. There's an option. <laughs> There's an option, and it's a good option. Well, I it's think I think you just it's again setting yourself yeah. up. Yeah. And if you can set yourself up in a way that says, well, at least I know I can eat that. Yeah. And if I can't eat all of it. I'll go back here. So right. It, it's all about. And it's the same with the sweets, not only the meals, but it's the same with, you know, the cookie swaps and all these other uh, fun, fun. They're fun. Uh, they're fun. They're awesome. But again, it's being realistic about how you are going to approach that event or that social or that uh, buffet or a dessert. Because sometimes I've gone to parties where there have been just a dessert buffet. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's crazy. It's so crazy. It, it, you know, and, and no one really does that so much anymore, has that much of any one thing, but when they're presented to you and someone else has made them, they always taste good anyway. So <laughs> it tastes better it tastes usually. Better. Yeah. So, but I, I think it's just all about doing what you do daily anyway, mm -hmm. which is there are temptations out there in a regular sure. world, not just holiday. Sure. And you've learned how to kind of handle that. Navigate it. So you, you just have to navigate and, and get away from the darn table. Right. You know, right. don't plant yourself at the food table. Yeah, and I, I, excuse me, I really don't think it's as bad. I, I want to believe that in this day and age, people are thinking twice yes. and are more educated and are being more aware of it. So I don't think it's as bad, but if we aren't aware of it and yeah. we're not thinking about it, it's very easy to slip. It's and very not, easy to get you out stop of your the, routine. You get your, your focus goes away, mm -hmm. and your vigilance goes away. Right. So you're thinking, oh, those were good, and you just sort of. That's why I don't like to linger at the table. I'll yeah. take a little plate and then disappear. Yeah. But it, it's it you know it's, it's not just the too. food though. 
It's, you know, it's so much about a holiday that I think can be really, I don't want to say destructive, but it can be in a way when you just, I know people who think they have to have 100 gifts under the tree because oh, the kids won't be happy. I've met people like this and their tree is hidden by the time they mm. put the gifts out. And I, I want to kind of know, do they enjoy any of this? Because they must be wrapping and shopping for weeks and weeks before they makes it more work. Yeah. And Make then you add Christmas cards, which can be a chore if you put them off too late, if you'd like to do them. And I'm thinking, you can make it, you can ruin it for yourself in so many ways, but you can just do the other way and make it so much yeah. more happy by minimizing. Yeah. And it's about thinking about, again, going back to what the season is about. And are people, are those gifts out under the tree, could they be, you know, used for a family that's needy or Amen. an organization that uh, you could donate to or volunteer at because you know, there's a lot of people that don't have right. and wouldn't the the gift of giving or the season of giving feel better if you it knew does. that you're giving go something. Do some, go out to one of these wonderful dinners that the church has put on. We've done that every year somewhere, serving people mm -hmm. and they don't have anyone else to be with right. and boy does that feel wonderful. Yeah, that makes or a change. Or just do something special for someone. Take gifts to the one of our very many local places where kids aren't going to have mm -hmm. the Christmas we like, like, just do it. it. Work that in as one of the priorities right. during the season because when you get out of yourself, you automatically feel better. Right. And then you realize, this is what it's about. I just did a trip that really made me feel amazing. Yeah. It's now about I, kindness. It's, it's kindness. It's being kind it's and kindness. thinking about other people as well. I think if you, I think besides getting help when you need it, giving help, I think, it, particularly at holiday time. Yeah. It's a, well, you, it's, it goes oh, back to the give and take. It does. You know, it's really thinking about uh, the benefits of giving to someone else. It's not that you are spending the money in another way. It's about helping other people feel it good. Is. And I think most of us do that in some way, whether we're donating clothes and um, I go to these stores all the time. Well, there's one on our way home from here, and I always try to have a bag of something in yeah. my car, so I, it's handy to drop off, and it kind of forces me to make it a regular pattern. But I think I, I love being in a store also. I have been in a store where people come in. I had a student once that I thought needed to get a little sense of what was out there besides his very comfortable situation. Mm -hmm. And I took him up to the food shelf at the Haven once. Okay. After we'd spent a great deal of time as a community service project delivering food there. Mm -hmm. And I took him in one day while a family walked in and got their monthly supply. And he said to me, I could eat that in a day or a week. I, that's, I, 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 that would never work for me. I said, yeah. well, these people make it work. Yeah. And they don't feel deprived because they're lucky to have what they get. But right. he was just, it was a classic response. Yeah. And it was just what I wanted him to realize. Yeah. More but, people need to. But the churches all do things. And you can volunteer any one of them. Yeah. And other organizations do it too. And I, th I think some of the local rec departments even have uh, groups that you can go to. There, you know, all the, a lot of the community social groups as well as, you know, Toys for Tots. I always yes. think of Toys for oh, Tots. Yes. Is a, I always support them, and it's such a, a great one great one to give to. So, yeah, it's really about thinking about other people as well as yourself. And it might make time. what you're doing on your own schedule seem better. You may yeah. just come back and feel refreshed and think, this is what it's, I mean, we're going to have our party. Yes, we are, but at the same time, I just hopefully made someone else's Christmas mm -hmm. a little bit easier. Yeah. And and the kids, I don't know, I think of the parents who don't, who must feel awful when it can't happen. Mm -hmm. The kids um, may be used to it, but I'd love to be on some of the, in the houses when those Toys for Tots get right. going. I mean, it's a wonderful thing. And it, if you can get out of the mode that has you totally stressed out, mm -hmm. it's going to make you a better person. Yeah. And so in the sense of the holidays, it is about yourself yep. and the decisions that you make yep. to have it be a better feeling during those holiday right. months to make you feel good. Uh, and that'll make other people feel better too if right. you're a little more relaxed. Yeah. I remember when I worked Stress. in retail, I, we got the day off period. And I remember hearing one of my kids say, or I said, actually, by the end of that season, I said, it just feels like it's a day off. Yeah. It didn't feel like Christmas this year. It was a day off. Well, I, it's, uh, it's interesting because there's a couple of the big stores 
that are big, ones. big names uh, that are making a commitment on Thanksgiving to be closed. Hallelujah that they I are doing it. I wish this was a trend and it may it is. become. I think, I think it's growing. Up that they will be because. I think people are listening. Yeah. I mean, it's fine to have Black Friday if that's what people right. are into. I'm not, you know, I'm not no, a Black Friday I person. Go near it. Um, but in just that some people are realizing the value of what these holidays are about so yeah. that people can be home with their families yep. and spend time together and not feel like they have to go because to work. Because I can tell you, the employees Shoot. feel like just chopped liver. I mean, they just keep moving. Every day's the same. It's Customers tough. get more pushy and more cranky and more crowded. And I just think it, it's family. I, they're, what's the big, there's a big food chain who doesn't open on Sundays. That's family day. Family day. And I respect that so much that that too I would support with yeah. my food money. Yeah. It's incredible. And, and hopefully some of these bigger groups will start to have an impact yeah. throughout that people will start to think about what message is being sent right. by these companies realizing the value that they're putting out there for other people. And we, should, we all should learn from that. We just we should shouldn't shouldn't step shop. back. Right. We should step back, think about it, and not go there. Look at the hours that have been added when they open now. They open for the Black Friday. They open at the middle of the night. I oh, mean, yeah. these poor employees, I always think of them when I see those hours announced because it just seems a little, they're going to make their money. Yeah. If they're a successful store, they're going to make their money. People will find time to get there if not on Thanksgiving Day. I love the fact that it may just be a real contagious thing. I hope so. I think what we've been trying to work on here is... Um, I would call it kind of overthinking hmm. the holidays where we think we have to be perfect mm -hmm. as a hostess, as a parent, as a gift giver, as a entertainer, as a, and we don't. And I think that word perfection gets in our way because we don't want anyone leaving the house saying, boy, did you see that dust in her corner? I get dust right. in my house. Right. But so. I actually read something about that. That's interesting that, you know, when you're cleaning because you're going to have friends and guests over, it's. You don't have to clean your whole house. No, you don't. It's not. Uh, They're not going to be over there looking in the corner. Exactly. You know. It's the areas are going to be, and just save and yourself the time. They don't want you to. The, uh, no. Nobody wants, if, if you, no. I, I, anyway, they're not my friend if they're going to go with a white glove in my dust corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't come ever if they thought that right. was happening. Right. But as you we were don't saying earlier, the up. routine. Right. Sleep. Let's, yeah, so in the sense of routine, really think about well, sort of going back to where we began and kind of, kind of ending the, the year, yeah. if you will, is yeah. make a plan for the next two months. What are you going to do? How are you going to manage it? Yep. Write it down. You can't, you know, I, I, I even think of myself, I've got a list on the back of this envelope, I've got a list on a receipt, I've got a list yeah. here, I've got one on my counter, I've got yes. one in the car. Why? Because I'm only going, I'm cross-checking everything like All that. The time. So I've found a way to make sure that I have a planner and everything goes on it and I take it with me instead of having all these lists. Now, do I check it? Do I change it? Do I update Sometimes. it? Sometimes. Most of the time, <laughs> as best as I can. But it's really important that you get yourself organized yep and plan before you start the season. And then don't forget about your routine, which is really important. We talked about keep your exercise routine yeah. going. You need Even that. the day before the holiday, get in the gym the or day do your walk, whatever you do normally, just do it. Because yeah. you're gonna be better for this and your family's gonna appreciate yeah. you. You're, it, the gift you're giving them is being a relaxed right. parent, friend, hostess, whatever, but you're not crazy. And lists matter. Mm -hmm. I don't get much done without something, but I have on my calendar too. Even something simple as the name of the store I'm going to tomorrow, because I won't, don't want to forget to do it, right. or it'll throw off the rest of the planning. So, yeah. And the last thing we didn't address yeah. earlier was sleep, oh. because if you can do anything for yourself, it's making sure that you get enough sleep, but good sleep. And particularly now, I mean that's any day, but holidays, it, it, you get wound up, you get and you. You really, sometimes it's harder to sleep because you've got a lot on your mind, but you won't have so much stress mm -hmm. if you've got that list and you work backwards. Um, what, what should I have done by now? And have your menus figured out, too, so that you're down to the ingredients of everything. You, I mean, the more picky and small you can get in your planning, the less last-minute stuff you're going to be, right. you Be know, specific. Yeah. Make sure you 
have specific things and you know if you're going to put up decorations know when you're going to do it what you're going to do how you're going to do it don't overkill it exactly uh keep it simple back to our, our yeah, well, kind of our themes works. <laughs> we're both simple folk i yeah. mean really we talked about this one day but talking about makeup and i i don't know where i have anything that you'd call makeup in my house but that's simple simple planning simple plans and simple menus just to keep it so that you, it's manageable and you're not yeah. someone you're not. Don't try to be the super cook if you're not. Just take the help. Be realistic. Yeah, that's a good word. Be realistic about what and how you're going to go about things. Yeah. And, you know, work through it. And, you know, you get mentioned as help. much help as you can, too. Yeah. If you have family that can pitch in, give them all an assignment now so that it won't be a shock <laughs> to them when you ask them, how's that coming? Yeah. Um, but if you've got kids that are old enough to help or, or whoever else you are around, get the help. Yeah. They usually want to. And if you make it clear enough, they'll do it. And it's a matter of making that help fun. So yeah. when, it, when you ask somebody for help, whether it's wrapping presents or bringing food right. or whatever, or decorating, whatever it is, let them have fun with it. Yeah. Don't try and control it because no. as soon as you ask for that help, let it go. If you've got it, you yeah. can't. You can't be controlling over this because yeah. if you want help, you want help, right. and, and you're not helping. Back and you're not getting it. the help yeah. that you need if you're in charge of it. Yeah. Let's go well, back. we're going to talk some more about this because it, I think it's huge, and I know I, we've all lived through holidays when we have wished we'd been more relaxed mm -hmm. or had more time to ourselves. Yeah. Pace the number of invites you take on. Um, just don't make it a crazy world for two months that you can't control and you're tearing your hair out. None of us look good tearing our hair out anyway. Uh, <laughs> it should be fun. It should be fun. And it's and up to you to make it fun. Yeah, and you can do it. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed everyone else is going to be, and then it is going to be a fun fun gathering, however you do yours. So you may hear more about this because there's more to talk about this, but it's a biggie for us because we all have known and seen people, and including ourselves, who have gotten out of control guilty. on the holidays. <laughs> We're both guilty. guilty and discharge. it's taken some of the fun away. So... Anyway, we'll be back soon, and don't forget to tell all your friends about us because we're waiting for you to click in and tell us how awesome this is. Anyway, Patty has her website and my email, I guess, are on the screen when you need yeah. them. And please be in touch with Patty because she really is doing some good stuff with this wellness program of hers. And um, I think you all have gotten to know her either before this or during this, and you know she's the real deal. So. Anyway, we shall see you next time. Great. Thanks, Judy. Bye. Thank Thanks. you.